Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am back to work today. I'm coming to you on my lunch break. I'm gonna share with you what I brought today. I am just now back to work um, after a long vacation. Well, I say long, I, I took off an extra couple of days just for Mardi Gras festivities. I had my oldest daughter in from Texas. All my kids were actually together and it was the best time. They had their boyfriends, my oldest daughter's had her boyfriend and my middle daughter had her boyfriend. We went to his hometown um, in South Lafourche for a parade and I have a few clips. I'm going to include those next, but let me show you what I'm eating for lunch today. Okay, so here is the lunch today. I did make a keto dirty rice. This is just the cauliflower rice with ground meat and um, the cauliflower rice has the asparagus and mushrooms and then um, the green pesto and I have a holy guacamole, just one little container. It is probably um, about about the amount of a half of, of avocado or a little less. I do have a few pistachios and I have my Huckleberry Clear American. So I'm gonna enjoy my lunch. All right, let's dig in. So how is everybody doing? I hope everybody is good and staying keto, if that's your thing. I am doing great. I stayed on track even, um, you know, even through all the Mardi Gras parading. I did have um, a high noon, um, one of those little alcoholic beverages out at the um, Spanish Town Parade, and it was delicious. Mm -mm. I could fix this keto dirty rice and have it for lunch every week. I never get tired of it. Mm -mm. It's just so good with the pesto. Really yummy. Um, this is the little holy guacamole. These are just so much easier to keep on hand and then grab and go for lunch. And I know we were talking about if you're trying to lose weight or reverse diabetes, try not to do nuts, but... I do feel like that I am in maintenance now and just having a few is not going to hurt. This is just a, a little small bag that I got from a gas station. We were on our way home from New Orleans and I needed a little something to keep me awake on the car ride since I was driving. So I thought that I would add them to my lunch today. Oh man down. Just lost one. Ooh, and we have our favorite huckleberry flavor of Clear American. Mmm, such a treat. I really love these. Mm. So I'm going to go ahead and roll the footage from the weekend so you can see what I got up to with my kids. And um, we really had such a fun time. So first, last, I think it was last Friday. Saturday. Last Saturday, we had a parade here in Baton Rouge, and it's called the Spanish Town Parade. It is such a good time. It's just kind of a tradition with me and my aunt and my mom normally goes, but she just recently had hip replacement, so she did not come this time, but um, my two girls came, their boyfriends came, and my aunt and we had a really fun time. I'll show you those clips now, and then I'll be back. Hi. Happy Spanish Town! It's Ginger! Happy Mardi Gras! We're having fun Mardi Gras. now. So I had to pick up a hot pink king cake for this Spanish Town Mardi Gras parade in Baton Rouge. The theme um, at this parade was Flamingoville, kind of an ode to Jimmy Buffett, just a little tribute. But everything at this parade is hot pink. You wear everything hot pink and flamingo. So it's unfortunate that I can't play the music that goes along with these clips because if you don't know about Mardi Gras, each one of the floats plays really loud, popular music, and it is such a good time. Everybody is having a little bit to drink letting their hair down, dancing, shouting. It's a good time. All right, everybody. What did 
we get? What's your favorite? Flamingo. Definitely the pink flamingo necklace. My favorite catch was this pink, like, oh, what do you call it? Like, beads? Uh, Big fuzzy. balls. Fuzzy yes. balls. Yay! Yay! And Ginger, what is your favorite? I got the wide mouth frog. <laughs> I love them. Layla, what's your favorite? The crab. Oh, how cute. He's broken, but he's cute. I love him. Tate. This shot glass. Yes. I don't drink shots, but I think it looks cool. <laughs> I love okay, it. Now you. Yes. What is your favorite? My favorite is this. I love the ring. Uh -huh. I love the big ball. It probably is so silly to others that don't know about Mardi Gras, but these big bees were a super great catch, so I was excited. The parade is coming. These floats in South Lafourche were much bigger than the ones in Baton Rouge. Usually the double deckers, um, just like New Orleans. So they were really throwing a ton of beads. I mean, beads that were still in Ziplocs, they were throwing to us. Since this was a night parade, we got so many glow necklaces and glow bracelets and rings. You truly have to pay attention when they start throwing beads. You've got to have your head up and your arms out because I'm pretty sure that I looked down a couple of times at my phone and got whacked in the top of the head with the beads, but it's all in fun. This is a little bit of the aftermath and what the streets look like. So they take big rakes and rake up all the leftovers and then they use them again next year so it doesn't go to waste. Here's my crew. We've got Tate all the way to the left and that's Layla's boyfriend and then Addison in the middle and her boyfriend Will and then Jack, my son, all the way on the right. We had a great time and Mardi Gras is now officially over. Didn't it look like so much fun? I took so many pictures but it was so hard for me to keep remembering to turn the camera to portrait. So some of those clips, of course, were like straight up and down. I was doing a lot of Snapchatting and posting on Instagram stories. So if you're not already, follow me over on Instagram at Jenny Angel one so you don't ever miss, you know, my stories. But we had such a fun time. And look, comment down below. Let me know if you're from here. You love Spanish Town too. I'd love to know who all goes and how your time was. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and finish my lunch. So I want to show you, I got a new little pill case for my birthday. My daughter got me this for my birthday and I'm pretty sure that I had this linked on my Elfster. If you don't already know, there's an, there's an app and it's called Elfster. And at Christmas time, my whole family is on this Elfster app and you can put in wishes and then your loved ones, friends, whoever can go on this app at any time and see what your wishes are. So if you have an upcoming birthday, they can go to Elfster and get something that you have picked out that maybe you didn't get for Christmas. And this was one of those things and it is so precious. So it's got this little floral um, holder, little bag, but it has these little pill cases and I was in need of a new one, but it has a daytime section and a nighttime section. So cute, I just love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my little vitamins. Ashwagandha. And the B12, yay. These are just so cute, I love them. It is 66 degrees out here today. You cannot not go walk when it's this pretty of a day. So 
Let me inspire you to get out, move your body. Let's go for a walk. Every soul, every season lives outside of status quo. If you stop believing, we're meant to be. So when I walk, I like to listen to different podcasts, a lot of videos, mostly a lot of true crime. I really love Annie Elise um, with Tend to Life, but I also like to listen to videos or podcasts about self-improvement and health. And one of my favorite channels is the Dr. Berg channel. And recently I listened to a video about salvaging your muscles as you age. And it was really interesting. Um, so as we age and lose our muscle, we lose a lot of our metabolism. I love to walk over to this parking garage at the hospital because it has the stairwell and it's so easy just to get a bunch of extra steps running up and down the steps. So that's what we're going to do. And so back to Dr. Berg, he was saying that regular consistent exercise will help preserve your muscles as you age. So implement exercise for the rest of your life because it's the most potent stimulator of building muscle. Also resistance training is key. It's very helpful using a resistance band or weights when you work out. I'm already at a mile. Super easy. Another good point that he made was increasing your protein. You need to eat animal protein. If you're starving yourself of protein, you can't salvage your muscle. Um, and then the last key tip he had was to take DHEA, at least 25 milligrams for women, and that helps you to build muscle. Now, sometimes I get worried about really working up a sweat while I go outside because I don't want to come back and smell like outside or even worse, sweat. Y'all, I found this stuff at Target. It is my favorite. So it's called Mix Bar blackberry tonic. It's a hair and body mist. This stuff smells so good and I do just put it in my hair, put it on my clothes, down the shirt. Mm, you will smell better than before you started walking. And don't forget to hydrate. So tonight we are having a date night. Can anybody guess where? <laughs> One of our favorite spots. I am super excited to go in here and just see what they have for Easter and spring. That's one of my favorite things to see what all they have in the gift shop. So we are gonna go in here. Our son is spending the night with a friend tonight. So we have a, a little date night. We don't get those too often, so we're excited. Let's go eat. Yeah.
Here's Kevin being silly with the poopery, although that stuff works really good. And this is his favorite car freshener. loved the stuff in this little section right here. I thought that that cross was so pretty. And the little wooden church, oh, so precious. The blessed sign. I did get the little wooden um, church, that one right there. So precious. I know that my stepsister Gigi loves chickens and roosters. And when I saw this stuff, I thought about her. Here is the small section that they had of Easter things. Not a ton, but what they did have was so precious. Can you guess what items we got? Look at these precious little chapsticks. When I was a little girl, I loved stuff like this. And we do like to get some of these essential oils. Lots of good, unique Easter basket candy ideas here. Look at these, they look delicious. Next to me. Got my heart upon my sleeve Can I hide the way I feel When you're next to me, girl? Can never move in a forest like a fool for you Kevin loves this little peg game and he is so competitive. He will literally do it over and over again until he beats me. And that's not too hard. <laughs> Here's me on my first try getting three, which is not the norm, but here's Kevin doing it again to try to get three or better. You're like honey too, would be, I go crazy. And this is my dinner. I got the maple bacon grilled chicken with green beans and broccoli. I did have to take the bacon off. It had some barbecue sauce on it, but it was delicious. This is Kevin's carb lover's dream, fried chicken, macaroni and cheese, and gravy mashed potatoes. <laughs> I think we did, <laughs> yes, we did some damage. So what are we gonna name him, Jenny? We gotta come up with a name. Okay, we decided on Peter Cottontail and- Beatrice. Oh, for Potter, Beatrix Potter. Beatrix Potter. Oh, Ooh, look at the clouds. This is a cool picture. <laughs> I'm gonna end the night with a cold brew from Seven Brew. 
They're having a birthday promotion today. It's their seventh birthday. And if you buy a sticker, then you get a free small drink. So that's what we're doing. Hey, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm okay, pretty good. good. So I want to do the birthday promotion. I'm going to get a sticker. And We're then, out of stickers. Uh, it was only the first 500. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, then I'll just get my regular order. All right, cool. Do you want the free it's small fun. drink today? Do you still get it if we're out of stickers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The oh, free okay. small drinks is from 7 to 8. That's oh, okay. why it's like this right now. Okay, I figured. <laughs> I figured. Yeah, I'll do the free small drink. All right. I want to get a sugar-free um, German chocolate cold brew. Can you roll up a bit? Okay. Oh, it's just for the first 500 cars, the stickers. They're out of stickers, but you can still get a free small drink. So that's what we're doing. They've even got birthday decorations. Seven Brew is living. <sighs> Hello. I am on my way home, headed home after this. I am vlogging. Not not getting you in the picture. <laughs> I, do, I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> and so, yes. I know. It always freaks people out. So, I like to explain that I'm not like trying to video them. <laughs> uh, a lifestyle channel. I do keto. And I just try to show like my day in the life and what I eat and how I stay low carb and stuff like that. It's, to each his own. It's not for everybody. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Okay. Okay, we are sampling our little small cold brew. We didn't need a large for nighttime anyway, so. Here it is. Delicious as usual. Love it. So y'all, I am going to say good night, goodbye. I'm ending the vlog here. I hope everybody has a great weekend and I will see you next Friday in another video.